Welcome. Welcome back to St. Joseph. This is the weekend, May 30th and 31st, Pentecost, the great solemnity of the coming of the Holy Spirit. I invite you back to St. Joseph's, and uh, if your health permits, uh, don't be afraid. Uh, we'll welcome you and we'll help, we'll help you be safe. So, we come back to church and I welcome you. Come on in. So we come back to St. Joseph's and uh, how happy you'll be to be back and see your friends. Oh, I miss you people. And uh, here in the lobby, of course, uh, Jesus himself, the Sacred Heart, he welcomes you. That's what religion's all about, your heart to his heart. Uh, and God loves you with his whole heart and you want to love your him and show it by coming out to church. Recall in the lobby we had the wonderful picture of uh, St. John Paul II. Uh, you know, he grew up when the Nazis were occupying part of Poland for when he was like college age. And uh, then the communists came in. Imagine trying to uh, get your college and seminary training with all that confusion. He toughed it out. We have to be tough and we have to ask him to help us. Over here on the other side, we have uh, Mother Teresa of Calcutta. You know, she taught school for 20 years in Calcutta in a very affluent girls' school. She taught geography for the Sisters of Loretto. And she got tired of seeing these people dying in the streets of Calcutta, the poorest of the poor. So finally she said, I gotta do something about these dying people. So she started very slowly, but very successfully, the Missionary Sisters of Charity. There's over 3,000 sisters now working in over 104 countries. I have to smile. It's a good thing she taught geography so she would know where her sisters were. Well, I'm gonna welcome you now and show you how we do this. Here at the side of the church in the lobby, we have a hand sanitizer. So very simply, uh, as you come in, you sanitize your hands. That's to uh, keep from any germs coming in. And also we have masks available. If you need a mask, uh, we have them available. Uh, or wear your own mask. You do have to wear a mask and sanitize your hands coming into church and as you leave. We thank you for that. Now we're going to go into the church. We want you to see once again the wonderful altar of the Blessed Sacrament. Jesus is awaiting you. He's awaiting all of us. Thank you. We come back in, into the church now. Welcome home to your parish church. And again, Saturday night at 5.30, and if you can't come, the Mass will be streamed live on Spectrum Channel 1021. You need to, of course, utilize the great gifts of Jesus, the sacraments of forgiveness through the sacrament of confession, and also to be able to get back to Holy Communion. These are ways that, that God takes us to himself, forgives us, gives us peace. If we need that, especially, uh, of course, every day we should tell him we're sorry for any sins before we go to sleep at night. But we want to welcome you to the banquet table of the Lord. And uh, we will give you a full view now of the altar and I welcome you back if you can this weekend. If you can't because of old age or health conditions, you're dispensed by our bishop. In fact, that dispensation runs through September 13th, but we hope you don't have to stay away that long. So welcome back. <laughs> 